What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome to a new builder kind of sandbox game called Main Assembly. Uh, the developers of this game sent me a code and wanted me to try it out, so I figured I would and it looked like it, it was right up my alley, so uh, so here we are. I wanted to bring it to you guys so we can see what it's like. Uh, now a little bit of information they wanted me to tell you before I before I do this. It's not sponsored, but they did give me a code uh, for free uh, in, in their email. But the, um, the game is called Main Assembly, it's by Bad Yoke Games, and it's coming out April 16th. So very soon from the time I release this video. If it's not already passed, I actually don't know when I'll release this. But um, but it looks really cool. It, it, it's like, from what I can tell, it's kind of like scrap mechanic, where you build uh, vehicles and stuff, or not vehicles, really anything you want, um, that have moving parts, and you kind of mess around with them. Um, supposedly, I mean, I've seen in the trailer, the game has kind of like aerodynamics as well, so you can... Uh, fly planes and stuff. Actually, I kind of wonder. Let's let's make our first vehicle an aerodynamics tester vehicle. I'm gonna make a car with a very big windshield and see if it actually affects its speed. <laughs> let's try it out. Alright, we've got our two vehicles here that we're going to test the wind thing with, um, because I am kind of curious. So we have one with this gigantic little windscreen that I, I made, and one with the same kind of style, but with no windscreen. Now they have thrusters on the back so they can help themselves go. Um, and I accidentally started an air race, so I guess you totally can make planes and stuff, but, uh, I, you know, oh well, it's fine. It's just going to sit there ticking down. Okay, so we're going to go towards the edge of, edge of that thing over there, and we'll see which one has the higher speed. I don't know how to tell how fast they're going. So, this will be interesting. We'll see. Okay, we'll calculate it at the end of the video. Okay, we're in the first one ready to go here. Uh, wow, we have very small wheels compared to the size of this thing. I didn't realize we were making them so small, but it's fine. Um, we're just going to go until we hit that thing over there, and we're going to calculate time on, or we're going to put time on screen. We'll see which one goes fastest. All right, three, two, one, go. We got to make sure I stay. Oh, God, <laughs> I can't see anything. Um, okay, there we go. Let's not hit the side things. I don't want to hit. Okay. Mulligan. Three, two, one, go. Let's see. Let's hopefully not hit that thing on the side this time. I think we're far enough over, though. Oh, here we go. About to hit it. And... Time. All right. So I actually don't know how long that took, but you guys do. Because, uh, because it's on screen right now. So let's get in the other one, and maybe it'll be like a really noticeable difference. I guess we'll see. Uh, and again, I, I don't really know if it'll be because of the weight, but we did remove all the plates um, from that one in an attempt to make it similar weight. So, all right, on your mark, get set, go! Oh my god, it seems like it's much faster, doesn't it? Yeah, this has got to be way faster. And time! All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this is way faster. So. Uh, I, I have an inkling to say that the uh, that wind is a thing like it, your your uh, aerodynamics is a thing with this That's kind of cool. All right. That's a, that's enough scientific testing. We got to go mess around with some stuff Let's build a normal vehicle and I'll show you guys kind of how how it works with this. Let's go to a different place though I've had enough of the airport. Oh, no the ski. Well, here's here's a bridge Let's 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 go at the bridge and there actually looks to be an entrance right there and a cave entrance There seem to be a lot of random Easter egg stuff here Let's make a car so we can explore. Just like a normal car that looks cool. Maybe one small enough to fit in there. I don't know even know if that's possible, but we'll try it. Uh, so now we have to do all the 3D modeling, sort of, which is kind of like extruding this stuff. It's really easy. Um, it's really however however you want to make it, you can do it. Okay, so with this thing, let's make our, our chair really high up. So we're going to bring this down like this. And then let, let's extrude this a little bit to make our little wheel area. Um... And then we'll, we'll, we'll gotta, we got to add the uh, side here. Move that back onto that so it looks nice. And in fact, let's extrude it a little bit more to make ourselves a nice little uh, front thing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. What would you call it? A, a um, Like a place where you put the headlight or something. Bring that down like that. Um, I guess we'll bring up the sides of this so it looks decent. Uh, there we go. How do I do this? Nope. Nope. That's not what I want to do. Undo. Bring this back here, maybe, and then... How do I... Oh, no, I know how. Okay. You gotta extrude this out, then bring those each to the same place. Ah, okay. Alright, let's add some wheels to the front. We're gonna add ourselves a... Uh, we'll go with really small ones. So I'll have a small wheel right there and a small wheel right here. So two wheels on the front. Oh, it's red. Did I make it red? 
Can I do this? Light materials, colors. Let's do primary of blue as well. An accent of freaking pink. <laughs> Just to mess with the colors. Oh, did that not work? Confirm. Oh, no, because it's got this. Okay, yeah, I see. I see why. It's got this slider for saturation or something. All right. And then let's do uh, let's do the same thing on the back. Something similar. All right, bring it out a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, now bring it up. Uh, there we go. Does that look weird? It looks weird, but it's fine. Add ourselves our motors. And we'll try to add some more more parts as well to see what they do. Wheels. So for wheels, I'm going to give it tiny wheels because I want it to be able to fit through that. I don't know if it'll be able to. Um, it's going to be tight. Uh, let's see what else they have because there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, we have thrusters that we could add. Oh, man, thrusters on all directions. Um, oh, propellers. <laughs> I want to put a large propeller on the top as well. <laughs> what the heck? Let's put a large motor right there, and we're going to stick a uh, one of these babies on there. <laughs> oh my god. And let's see if it works. Um, okay, so so this game is actually kind of complex, it seems, because you have to actually program everything yourself. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't do it automatically for you. But that's, that's one of the things I was very impressed with when I first took a look at the tutorial, is that it's got this whole, like, um, visual programming interface uh, by which you can do all the... Like, you can assign inputs like keyboard inputs to whatever you want so if i wanted my steering to be arrow keys i could do i could do it just like this now my steering is arrow keys um if i wanted uh let's see what 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 do we have actually you know what? i think i need to yeah this is a good example where i have to show um the motor yeah okay so this is the motor that i just put on i have to i have to actually assign something to it so i think left shift will be fine um for that so let's do i guess we'll bring out a power Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, power's already... Power's assigned to WNS. I don't want that. No, no, no. Undo that. Yeah. Bring it down here. We're going to assign that to left shift. And I can also uh, bump up how fast it powers up and how or how slow it powers up. All right. Everything seems to be uh, wired up here. Now let's go ahead and build it by pressing enter. And... Oh, it's definitely small enough. Oh, God. My steering's not... Oh, yeah. I changed it to arrow keys, didn't I? Oh, but arrow keys are already bound to turning the camera. So that's that's not really cool. Let's uh, let's Let's change that back real quick. All right, I think we fixed it. Yes, we have. So, oh, the back wheels are not turning wheels, apparently. Um, does this work? It does. It's not actually making us go up or anything, but it uh, it turns. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I wonder if we added enough of them. Oh, God. Let's let's try and... Can we rise ourselves a little bit? Charge! <laughs> oh, let's go off the edge. Let's go off the edge and see what happens. <laughs> That's not going to work. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Yep, that did not work as intended. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, let's go for take two. So I just realized that the uh, the first option of the programming was actually a speed to power ratio, not just how fast or how powerful I wanted it to go. Oh, wow, they're actually like staying in their normal direction when I turn. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I, I basically made it very powerful, but not very fast. So let's, uh, let's bump it up again. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God. Okay, so ah, <laughs> it just goes crazy. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh man. Okay, so if I tap it, what happens? Okay, so it gets a little bit of flight if I just tap it. Oh, but it's got no. It, it needs like a tail rotor, doesn't it? It needs like a little tail, so it, it uh, so it doesn't go crazy. That's what normal helicopters have, right? All right, so now we have our vehicle here. We have our, our normal vehicle we had before, but we also have an attempt at a thing like a thing right there. A, uh, a thing like helicopters use, and I have no clue if it's going to work. Oh, God. It's now back heavy as well. Uh, okay, so these... Turn turn that. And uh, it also turns that, apparently. I should really change it to numpad 1 and 3. Why... Why are you not working? All right, there we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, so I've added these two little things on the back in hopes that it would um, <clears throat> allow the, the helicopter to move or, or whatever. But they don't seem to be doing much. So I can turn them a little bit, but uh, I feel like I lack the knowledge of how a helicopter actually works to be able to do this. Let's see. Will it? No, see, it still doesn't, still doesn't stop it from flipping around. All right, let's try it like this. So now if I press spacebar, it does like... The, oh, God, it now acts as a forward thing. Um, but then if I go left or right... 
it'll spin us. Oh, okay. So now if I go like, if I do this one and this one, nope, nope. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's better. <laughs> oh man, it works better, but it still did not work as intended. All right, let's save this one and start working on another one. I want to make a little car because I want to explore some of those little areas. So let's do a, whatever this is. Uh, poor little thing over there. And let's make ourselves just like a really small car. All right, everything looks good. We just made a very, oh God. Okay, we just made a very small vehicle so we can traverse the land and explore. <laughs> let's go. I don't know how fast these things go yet because I haven't actually pushed them. I'm kind of too afraid to push them because I'm afraid I'm going to flip them like that, but I'll flip them back, but I'll flip them back again. That's a rip. But it's just as easy as holding E on this to unflip it, so that's pretty nice. Hop back in. I want to go explore one of those little cave. Yeah, look at that one up there. Yeah, let's go. Let's try and find our way over there. Um, oh, the sun. I can see the glare. Oh, this is... Oh, man. Oh, we're losing control, and we lost it. We lost, and flip, flippity, flip, flip. Awesome. Um, I think this might be the way up right here. So let's go. I should have added a thruster on this thing to see what would happen. In fact, you know what? I did add a thruster on this thing to see what would happen. Woohoo! <laughs> oh no, there we go. That's, yep, okay. That's about as much as I thought it would happen. Oh, I want to go up to that one. Uh, let's, let's respawn this thing. I want to go up to that one. I see there's one down here, but I want to go up. Um, up here. Because that one looks like a cave. That one looks like Aperture Science Entry. And if there's anything I know about Aperture Science, you don't want to go there. It's not a good time. All right, thruster is good for random small bursts of speed. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, please. Okay, I thought that was going to go all the way down. All right, back up slowly. We need to do ourselves a three-point turn. There's one, two, four-point turn. It's fine. Don't judge. All right, turn and hit the thruster for... Oh, hit the thruster. Now let's just back up a little bit. All right, thank you, thruster. Ooh, it's an actual... Oh, wow. It's, it's a very straight cave. Oh, man. This just this just begs to be, like, floored down. Look at this. Even turn on the thing. A little bit of air time right there. Oh, no. It's a, it's a turn. Oh, that flip! Those moves! All right, let's turn. I wonder where this is going to spit us out. Because I think... I feel like it's got multiple entrances. Uh, yeah, it's got to. Because let's go down this way. This way looks cool. I wonder if they have lights. I could add like a light to the front of this thing. Although it does seem like the lighting in this game is not like uh, where it's going to be super dark at any point. Because we're in the middle of a cave and we can actually see pretty well. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, there you go! I was on the uh, the wall for a second there. Alright, let's flip our thing. J-turn! Nope, it was not meant to be. Oh, three-point turn right here. I'm redeeming myself. There we go. Mm, there we go. Jet! <laughs> oh, there's a rope. Oh, man. Oh, yep. Yep, there we go. Off the thing. All right, there's one more thing that I want to try here. I want to try to make a plane because I know it's possible. Is this water? This seems like ice. Okay. I know it's possible to make a plane, but I don't know if it... Let me save this thing real quick, actually. Um, save as uh, uh, Crazy Car. These are not at all going to be forgotten names in a bit, but I do like you can actually see it, so that's pretty nice. And you can create new folders, too. Um, cool folder. I hit cancel. It's fine. Now I'm too lazy. I type in just cool. So I wonder if I can just put these in cool, then. Oh, cool. I mean, well, yeah, literally. Okay, that's pretty neat. And they're still here, it looks like. They're still in all, but now they're also in the folders. Okay. Okay. That's kind of like, uh, let's extrude this. Oh God. Oh God. What's happening? Uh, undo that please. Oops. Well, now this looks more like a helicopter. <laughs> okay. That's, you know, that's kind of getting there, isn't it? Let's bring this in a little bit. I mean, I guess that's where the wings will be, but yeah. Okay. So that, that's kind of getting there. We'll put a propeller on the front. Uh, center mass is gonna elude us a little bit. It's gonna it's gonna make things hard probably because this I think actually does pay attention. This is Kerbal all over again, isn't it? Me not knowing what to do. Okay, that's that's angled slightly up, but uh, that's not gonna be a problem, is it? <laughs> it's totally gonna be a problem. 
<laughs> it's already starting to look like a plane, so that's a good sign. Oh god. Okay, this is the jankiest looking ship I've ever, I've ever, uh, or plane I've ever made. Granted, I've not made a lot of planes. Um, this is the first one in this game, but, uh, but it's got a hinge. The idea is that the hinge will be able to, to, uh, to angle up or down, thereby moving the, uh, whatever this is called, earlier ons or whatever. Uh, so it'll move that, and that'll allow the plane to either go up or down. Um, so yeah, this should be interesting. We also need something called elevators, uh, because that's important as well. So we need to figure out how we're going to put those on. You know what? Let's not worry about it. Let's start with this. Uh, let's, let's do wheels, actually, real quick. All right, here we go. So we've got a, <laughs> a propeller that's facing up. Let's, uh, let's make that not facing up. Probably a good idea. Okay, propeller facing forward. Um, we, two wheels on a bearing in the front. Oops. Let, yeah, make it so you can see them. Uh, two wheels on motors in the back so that they can actually make it go. Although technically these should probably be on bearings, shouldn't they? So the motor is the only way to go, but I don't know. It's probably fine. Uh, then we've got these weird aileron things. I, I think that's what they're called. I actually I actually don't know, but I know they need, they're need... Oh, flaps. They're called flaps. What am I talking about? Ailerons are the things on the back, aren't they? Which we don't have. <laughs> um... We're gonna try and fly this thing. All right. <laughs> oh God. Okay. 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 Oh, I don't have a steer. I don't have a steer. Oh man. Okay. B. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, so that's that's our attempt at a at a, a rudder or whatever they're called on this thing. Um. I want you to go up here. There we go. <laughs> it looks kind of weird. It's circular. Nice. All right, fine. It, it, it works. Uh, wait, hang on. Let's move this up a little bit. There we go. Flip this down. There we go. That looks very stylish, doesn't it? <laughs> That's not working. <laughs> I feel like we need elevators. All right, guys. I've finally built this airplane. It's got... I think everything that an airplane needs, it's got the propeller on the front, it's got wheels on the bottom that are going to allow it to, to drive, I guess. It's got these weird looking flaps that uh, go up and down with the uh, with the ailerons over there. And it's got the um, tail rotor thing, which also turns these wheels that don't actually do anything because those wheels on the front uh, don't turn freely either. Alright, we're just going to pretty much gun it and see if we can take off. This, the, you know, the odds this is actually going to work are pretty slim, but let's try it. Three, two, one, drive. Or fly, I guess. Oh no! Oh man! Oh yep, yep. That you know that sounds. But oh, we're in the air though. Look at that. But like, not for long. <laughs> oh man! All right, my friends. Here's take two of this thing. If this doesn't work, we're probably gonna call it a loss uh, because I don't fully understand plane mechanics here. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is everything I should have, right? Uh, but there's probably something I'm missing. All right, we're getting ready to. Well, we gotta get ourselves. Oh man, the wheels. Do I have the wheels turning the wrong way? I feel like I do. Okay, whatever, it's fine. All right, three, two, one. Wait, hang on, let me make sure these work. Okay, those do work. Okay, let's go. Let's gun it. No, wait, oh, I put them the wrong way. Go, go up, go up plane. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like these two are, are, uh, are tilting the wrong way, aren't they? They should be tilting the same way. All right, I just built it so we're lined up perfectly. We're going the wrong way on the runway, but it should be fine. So now I've only got these things going up and down. So let's see if that fixes things. That did not go the correct way. I feel like our, our thing is not powerful enough. There we go. That's going to solve it. That's going to solve it. Just add a thrust engine. That's all you need. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> that was not it. That was not the way to do that. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I clearly need someone more knowledgeable in the art of making planes to help me with this. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I mean, it flies for like half a second and then crashes violently, but it's fine because I'm a robot. I don't need to worry about uh, taking damage and stuff like that. All right, well, while I may not be an expert at making planes, I can certainly make a pretty awesome car that has nothing wrong with it totally, other than the fact that that just happened. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, I'm going to go in one of these hangars, see what's in there. <laughs> I love these. I love these random thrust things. Did I say, by the way, this game is actually multiplayer? Uh, if any of you guys ever get this, it'd be kind of interesting to play. 
because um because yeah i can i can only imagine all the crazy stuff we get up to oh a teleporter let's go in there we oh i missed we oh the ski slope okay we got to do this we got to do this before we end it uh ski slope put down okay here we are the goal is to hit a home run which means to get out of the park which is over there somewhere all right let's do it we have a thruster so we shouldn't have very many problems hit it oh no okay i did not foresee that happening <laughs> boom 20 points take two let's go uh let's not hit the thrust until until we get closer to the end thing all right and hit it fly oh double flip triple flip and he keeps going what a gymnast <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's going to be the maximum amount of points that we could have gotten other than hitting a home run, obviously. How many points would that be? A hundred? Wait, how many, what are they going up by? Uh, 10. 100, 110? Uh, probably 115 right here. That's a pretty solid jump, I've got to say. I mean, sure, he used thrust and that probably wasn't allowed, but it's fine. The thing is in one piece. Never mind that the thruster did fall off. All right, guys, this is probably a good... Where are you going? <laughs> it just starts driving away from me. Uh, this is probably a good place to end this video. Um, this was really fun. I, I like this game. It's got a lot of potential um, to do a lot of cool stuff. Now, I saw in the uh, in, in the trailer, I think, they had, like, not just vehicles. They had, like, um, windmills and stuff. So I wonder if it'd be possible to build way more complex things using this sort of 3D modeling technique uh, along with the um, the tools that they have in, uh, in, in, in the thing. So it'd be definitely cool to try out. Um, just want to reiterate, this game is going to be live on April 16th for early access. And as well, it is multiplayer. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to find out how multiplayer in this is uh, is like. Ooh, lots of, lots of jet streams made by planes that were not me, clearly. <laughs> definitely could not get that high. But, um, but anyways, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. And I'll see you guys in the next random game that we try. <laughs> Hasta la vista. Oh my god, there's there's like a little racetrack over there. What?